Well, let's move to the latest Sri Lanka container controversy. Lankan authorities have said that there are 1,000 undeclared containers lying at different ports of the country. This number was presented to a Lankan court by a senior counsel of the state. The court has now instructed Sri Lanka's customs department to open the, in fact, undeclared containers. They have also been asked to check if the containers have waste material. The court has asked the government to present a report on the garbage containers imported to Lanka. This comes days after authorities in Colombo discovered hazardous clinical waste in waste containers sent from the United Kingdom. Recycling cargo also has suspected human remains. Most of these containers have been stuck in Sri Lanka for at least two years. It is common for wealthy countries to send their recyclable waste overseas. The countries taking in the garbage containers are paid in return of the waste containers. Environmentalists have flagged major concerns over these imports of waste. They say the exported waste poses major risks to public health. China banned the import of foreign plastic waste last year. As a result of this, most of the trash is now sent to Sri Lanka and other Southeast Asian countries. A few weeks ago, Cambodia announced that uh, it would send 1,600 tons of plastic waste back to U.S. and Canada. Cambodia said that the waste was uh, found in shipping containers. Indonesia also said that it would send back waste containers to France and Australia. Malaysia joined the league too. It said it will ship 450 tons of imported waste back to its sources. The Chile Navy has confirmed that it is trying to control the damage caused by a massive oil spill. Nearly 40,000 litres of oil spilled into the sea near the remote island of Patagonia, near the southernmost point of South America. The oil spill has left environmentalists severely worried, as the oil spill could wreak havoc in an area blessed with incredibly rich biodiversity. A statement released by the Chilean Navy has said that it received a call from the mining company CAP informing them about the oil spill, 2,800 kilometers from the capital Santiago. CAP released a statement saying the incident has already been contained. A spill affected a bay off the island and the company said it installed a container sleeve in the affected area on Saturday and began removing oil from the environment immediately. During the first 24 hours of the cleanup and containment operations, 15,000 litres of contaminated seawater were contained. A barge and an ocean patrol boat are also, in fact, being included in the recovery operations. The cause of the spill was not immediately clear and the Chilean Navy has launched an investigation.